Hello, this is Sabo again, like the Blush Creator, and today we're going to be reviewing the Hornby Breakdown Train. I ordered this because I always wanted a breakdown train, and I, I had a wooden railway version of Rocky, but I somehow lost him. So this is going to be, it's going to be cool. I mean, this looks cool. The action looks well done. Well, let's get to it. Okay, okay, here we are. Now, let me just open this up. Alright. Here is. Uh, oh, wait, you just. Oh, uh, be careful. Here we are. Alright. And also the packaging that I opened it, it didn't have any tape on there, so there we are. Alright, so here's the crane. Let's see how it goes. Yep. Can turn 360 can turn it 360. And now let me just uh put it right here. And here is the rest arm. Or the crane. Or the crane just lands on there. And I'm also seeing that. There's some more stuff. I'll be finding out what this is supposed to be all about. Alright, I got a Bachman track so it can stand better. And if you viewers ask about does Hornby is Hornby compatible with Bachman tracks? The answer is yes, they are. Even Bachman is compatible with Hornby tracks. And also if you would see in this video, like if you go way back to the video, it says that it's OO gauge. And if you ask, if, is that does that work on HO skill track? And its answer is yes. It's just like a centimeter off or something. So here we are. I also found out what those accessories were for. They're for this thing right here. Each knob makes the crane move. So if I turn this knob right here. Nope, that's the wrong way. It lifts the crane arm. And I just move this around. And yet again, that's 360s. And also, the most cool thing is that it can do this as well. It also does that as well. And you see these things keep falling apart. I mean, it could be stable sometimes, but it's fine. I could just, I could just glue them or something. I could just glue them back on or something. See, keep falling. And if you know how, if you ask how did I know, that goes right there. If you see closely right here, you can see closely that there's a square right here, and this thing's a square. So I just put one right there, and the other right there. See? And it keeps falling apart. And yet again, I'm gonna glue it on. Alright, so I'm gonna get a train and see how it goes. Alright, the breakdown train is right there. Here, over here we have Percy and the troublesome truck. Number one, you probably heard from, seen from my last video. If you haven't, what are you doing? Just go to my channel and look at it. That's all I'm asking, that's all. And let's see, let's see here. Let's see how this thing runs. Alright, so the couple the horn beam couplings probably works with Bachman couplings. Let's see. Nice. Alright, here we are. This is what the speed how it's going, and I think that we just take it up a notch. Let's 
smoothly. And that thing just pulled out and fell off. This thing fell out. Looks really good. So far so good. Alright, but before I go, I want to show you, I want to just test this thing that I created. This is supposed to be a, I don't know, some sort of custom, a custom train chain or something. I don't know, that kind of rhymed though. I want it to be look like, I don't know, the one where they, where the cranes carried engines with some sort of equipment. I will just post a photo and show you what I mean. Anyway, let's just get going. I use string and toothpicks. That's how I made it with. And if you ask if it's gonna break, well, let's hope for the best that it doesn't. And also, this thing is a fake. It's not correct. It's not connected with strings. One thing. Oh, now let's just go and I go like this. Up, up, it's going, it's going. Let me just uh, give it a little bit for now. And then I try to. I'll just lower it down. And there's the wrong one. There, it kind of worked. And there we are. Just took a little bit of weight right here, and this thing won't stand straight. But anyway, it worked a little bit, and this thing didn't break. Anyway, that'll be all for this video. Now, it's a see you later.